One finger meditation technique is another technique that's going to require time, patience, and practice in order to become proficient. The idea of this technique is to meditate on the point that you're stimulating. That is probably the most important consideration with this technique. We focus on what we're doing and why we are doing it. We can use one finger meditation technique on any part of the body. Even though this technique requires the use of our thumbs, it's very easy on the therapist's body when done properly and when we use proper body mechanics. The amount of pressure is mild to moderate, but more tending towards the mild end of that spectrum. As I said, it takes time to master this technique. It can feel quite awkward and uncomfortable in the beginning, particularly if you have low wrist mobility. But with time, anyone can perfect one finger meditation. I would suggest practicing on that rice bag we discussed or a cushion before applying it on a client, similar to rolling technique. Begin by practicing for a short period of time each day, starting with two to five minutes per hand and working your way up to being able to sustain this technique for up to five to 10 minutes. Remember, always pay attention to your own body. If you feel pain or discomfort in your thumb or any joint, adjust your body mechanics and position. And if that doesn't help, then this technique is not ideal for you. There's no reason to damage our own body for the sake of a technique. As I mentioned before, the one finger meditation technique is indeed one of the more difficult techniques to master. So practice and take your time. Let's practice on a rice bag. Of course, if you don't have a rice bag, it's okay to practice right on your massage table, something nice and soft. So I'm going to begin by practicing right in the middle of the rice bag. One thing I want you to note, though, is how low I'm sitting. My elbow is below the table. That's where we want to be. One of the key notes with this technique is your elbow has to be below that wrist. I'll mention that many times. All right, so sitting nice and low, put my thumb right in the middle of the bag. Now with my thumb in the middle of the bag, I'm going to make my fist into a nice loose fist and then I'll just flex and extend my thumb. Nice and easy. I'm not using a lot of pressure, right? This is just the weight of my hand and arm. Now this is a very slow rate and frequency in which I'm doing. I just want you to notice how my thumb just flexes and extends and as I go into that extension, you see that loose fist barely contacts the rice bag. So we'll just do that nice and quick. We could increase the rate in which we do that. Now, what you might have is like myself, I have a very hypermobile thumb. See how my thumb goes into that hyperextension. So that's uh, in this case, a little advantageous because essentially all I can do and what you can do if you have a hypermobile thumb is I'll rest the pad of your thumb on that point and then you just rock your thumb back and forth on the pad of that thumb. If you do not have a hypermobile thumb, then you're going to be flexing and extending that first and second knuckle joint. Now remember the rate and rhythm of this ends up getting quite fast at times. And what I want you to notice is look how deep I've gone into that rice bag and there's no pressure. I'm not pushing down. I'm just letting the weight of my arm allow my thumb to press deeper. <laughs> 